A lot of Anderson Silva moment. Uh, the recent one when he beats Chavez was just incredible because he finished his career in a mixed martial art on, 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 on a few losses and it was very sad for me to watch, you know. But then when, when he came back and, and beat Chavez, nobody expected it. You know, it was just incredible to beat Chavez at, at his own sport. It was just incredible. That's probably for me one of the best highlight of Anderson Silva's career. Like, of course, in, in MMA, he was like fighting like he was in the Matrix. These, these highlight, his highlights are incredible, you know, some of the best of all time. But recently, the thing that he achieved that impressed me the most, it was against uh, Chavez. When, the way he, he, taught, he played with Chavez is just it's incredible. You know, at his age, it's not even in, in, his, in his own sport, it's just, Incredible. Is so that a part of you that, that like feels, oh my God, I should have faced him when we both were in the prime? I, I th we could have done it. Uh, the thing is, the UFC. You know, I, I at the time I wasn't on a doing a tear in my division. I was like fighting guys nonstop coming at me, and I was saying to the UFC, if I fight Anderson, we'll be in a catch weight and we'll implement the the, the testing. You know, at that time the UFC didn't want to do it. They they were. I put I put up my rules. The way it works, you have neg when you negotiate a fight. The uh, two opponents put up their, their, their what, what they want the UFC to do, and the promotion need to deal with it. But UFC never, never wanted, never want to 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 do a special contract for me as well. So I was fighting on my existing contract while I was uh, going to take all the risk to def de deflect from my you know my weight class, you know to to. So they didn't. They don't want to do it, so a big part of it was because of UFC. You know? My last question is so like, uh, Anderson is 47 years old, you yes. know? When you guys were in the same sport, did you ever think like, oh my God, just to see him fighting is still in high level, you know, at 47 years old? It's incredible, like I don't know nobody that, like I couldn't, I couldn't fight like this. It's just, he's, he's moving like the Matrix, you know? It's, uh, he's a very special talent, you know what I mean? He's uh, arguably the, the greatest fighter of all time, you know what I mean, in, in mixed martial art, you know? Now we're fighting in boxing. This is a very specialized uh, form of fighting. I mean, of course, you all know that if it would be in a mixed martial art fight, it would take 30 seconds, perhaps a minute to find Anderson to win, but he's willing to get outside of his comfort zone, which even if he's an incredible boxer, but he's taking a risk to fight Jake Paul, is it takes, it, it takes a lot of courage, you know, on both sides, by the way, you know. George, just two questions, please. Uh, first of all, is that true that next year you're going to be out of UFC contract for real, even though you're fighting? I'm already out of UFC contract. So I'm out. I, I couldn't be here today if I wasn't UFC contract. <laughs> so is it it might piss off the UFC that I'm here, but I did it because, like I said, I have the freedom now to do whatever I want with whoever I want, whenever I want. Box. Huh? If you, even fighting boxing if you want. I have, I, if I wanted to, but I, I like I said, I, I, you never say never. If, if if it's for a good cause, it's well organized, uh, you know, who knows? You know, I could do boxing or grappling, you know, who knows, you know. But my days of trying to prove I'm the strongest man in the world, it's it's gone. I have other priorities in life and I'm, and I'm still training. I'm still get it. When I go with the guys, I spar with the guys, I still get it. But my heart is not there anymore. Last question, George. George. Eu sei que você fala um pouco de português. Por favor. Eu falo um pouco. Dá um recado para os fãs brasileiros, por favor. Que esperar dessa luta? Muito, muito obrigado. Todos uh, uh, lutadores da uh, Academia Grace Barra por me ajudar. George, 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 my Portuguese you. is terrible. It's better than my. George, it used to be better but before, but George, I lost George, it. George, 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 we want to ask you yesterday at the press conference, Jake Paul mentioned to Anderson Silva that he wanted to start some sort of a union for the MMA fighters. Yeah. And your name came up yeah. as somebody that they wanted to be a part of that. Yeah. Uh, tell us how you feel about that. Well, I, it, it's 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 not a question of if it should happen a union. It's a question of when it will happen. It will happen because it happened in boxing. It happened in in basketball basketball, in hockey, in all professional sport and in mixed martial art, unfortunately it's a young sport, it's still a new sport, I mean not new as new as it was like 20 years ago, but it's still relatively young, sooner or later it will happen. And, 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 and it, a lot of people have tried to done it, to done it before, it fell, but sooner or later it will happen because you know the condition of the fighter, they can be uh, improved by a lot, you know, uh, the salary. Uh, all the assurance after their career, a lot of guys, they, they have a lot of issues that that are, uh, you know, like linked to brain damage and stuff like that. So, so 
I feel for a lot of these guys, you know, like you only hear about the guys that make it, like the Conor McGregor, Khabib, George St. Pierre, like, who made a lot of money and we, we, we left the sport uh, healthy and good. But the, the truth is that most of the guys, 99.9% .9 of the guys, like, it's a, it's an horror movie. It's a, it's a bad ending to, to their to their career end and in a bad way. And I feel for this guy. And sooner or later, there will there there will be a new union. They will they will create a certain kind of program to help a lot of the fighters. Hey George, oh, so uh, your what's your thoughts division? on the, um, John Jones stepping up in heavyweight, maybe find Stipe and then Francis? Just well, I, I, I've seen it uh, in the red carpet when I got inducted to Hall of Fame and he, 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 I, I took a picture and I put my arm around him. I was like, man, he's solid like a rock. You're talking about Jones? Huge. Yeah, okay. yeah. Richon Jones, solid like a rock. He, look, he looked huge. And uh, looked like he put the, the weight at the right place, you know, like I can't wait. I'm, uh, I'm a fan of John Jones. I like to see him fight. I can't wait to see him come back. You know, I, a lot of people is like, yeah, he, 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 he was out for a long time. Sorry, he was out for a long time, but he's John Jones. You know what I mean? For, don't forget that he's John Jones. You know, he's like arguably the best fighter of all time too. You know, like he, he can make a comeback, and I think he's gonna be successful what when he does. What does it take to move up and like wait? You've done it. Like you've had a, like a yeah. Great I've move done up. it the wrong way though. I, I've tried. Um, I've tried to put on weight. I've, I prepared myself a long time. I tried to eat and put on weight, but with the stress, it creates problems. And, and if I would have to done it again, if I would could come back. And tell a younger George, before he trying to put on weight, I would, I would have tell him to just stay the way you're at your natural weight because you're not gonna have any health issues and you will perform pro even probably better, you know. But uh, certain guys has you know the, the different abilities, you know what I mean. I, I, can, I have a hard time putting on weight, you know. That's the way my body is, you know. Some guys they can put on weight easier, you know. Depend if you're an endomorph, mesomorph, ectomorph, you know. A lot of guys has, has different. Uh, tools you know like different ways to, of doing it and it, it, it's easier for them you know George, George uh, what are your thoughts we've seen, recently. we've seen your we've seen your your contemporaries in MMA uh, be brutally KO'd uh, kind of in sequence by Jake Paul what are what are some of the thoughts that are going through a legend like your mind when you're watching him kind of walk down uh, uh, the who's who of MMA well I, I uh, it's sad when I see a guy that that that, that you know, and end up his career in a, in a like in a humiliating way. Like I, I, I mean, it, it's good for the fans because it's a crazy good highlight. I like tomorrow to tell you the truth. I, 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 I like both guys. I, I just wish there will be a, a winner and a loser. But I just wish that the fight happen in a way that the the both of these guys can showcase their skills and look good. Even if they lose, they can. it could be a, a very entertaining fight and they, both of them will be able to showcase their skill. And that's the only thing. I, and I hope nobody will get badly hurt. Are you that. Yeah, guys, Khabib recently you retired as well. He seems to be a guy. <laughs> okay, is this good? Y'all good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. George, we just got done with weigh-ins here. You were almost the the Dana White of the face-off. What was that like for you? What was that experience? Shave like? my head, you know. <laughs> no, it was a. It was. It, it's fun for me to be here. You know what I mean? Th like uh, night, like tonight, makes me remember, and makes me makes me remember how much I don't miss this. You know, like I, as a competitor, but as a promoter sort of you know I, I really enjoy it and I really enjoy it you know it's gonna be a great show and uh, I'm glad to be part of it you know did you feel like you almost had to get involved there for a second it was getting a little fiery no I felt the intensity and then I went well like okay it's been uh, already a few seconds no, that's enough guy I tried to break it because but none of these guys wanted to let go the the look you know and I understand it's kind of a thing I'm not gonna let go you know you don't want to lose you know like so it's kind of a staring uh, contest competition, so I was like, okay, that's enough. You have to be the guy that breaks it, you know? I know it sounds stupid to most guys, but fighters understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey George, what did you see in their eyes? Because Anderson, we've seen him focus and zone in before. My, Jake my is coaches different. used to tell me when I do a stare down, take his soul. <laughs> I, try, I think they were trying to take each other's, you know, like size each other, you know. Did either one have the upper hand? Nah, it's a mind game. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything for me. When I, I remember when I used to do weigh-in, a lot of the times I used to laugh or, you know, I don't take these things too seriously. But some guys, for them, it's, uh, it's a way to get into their opponent's head. You know, they play a lot of mind, mind, mind games.
Was it cool uh, being up there with Anderson? Because, you know, for a period of time, it was you and him as the faces of the UFC. Mm -hmm. And now to kind of be, have a moment of, of up there with him. Yeah, I, I saw him. I, I said in Portuguese to him, I said, uh, bo Boa sorte. Yeah, like, good, good luck. You know, like, I, I wish him the best of luck. And, uh, yeah, I, he's 47. He's an incredible athlete, you know. It's like, who can do this and at 47 years old? is just incredible. Does, I mean, does that legitimately blow your mind, the fact that he's 47, he's oh, yeah. still doing this at such a high level? Re I was sad when I saw him, like, the way he finished his, his career in, in mixed martial art, but then I saw him, the way he rebound against Chavez is just incredible. It was very inspiring, and, and one of his, the best performances of, of his entire career was incredible. And it wasn't boxing, it was not even in MMA. He was taking up a boxer, like an elite boxer, into boxing, and in like, Mexico. like, yeah, in Mexico, and, and completely, completely dominate him. It, it was an incredible performance. Has he surprised you even with how sort of this post UFC career has gone? Oh, it's incredible. Now he's, he's in the top of his game and I, I wish him the best of luck. You know, like he's 47. I, I He told me backstage, he's like, uh, George, I'm addicted to this. I can't stop, you know, and I understand it's, it's, it's hard to let go, you know. George, are you surprised that he's not in the UFC Hall of Fame yet? Oh, he will be 100%. Like, what do you think the holdup is? I mean, DC's already in the Hall of Fame, but Anderson should be in there as well. Because maybe he's, he's an active fighter. They wait for him to really calm down and not... You know, who knows? Maybe, if, I don't know, if if he does a few boxing fights and then Dana's like, hell, I want to pay you and to come back. I, I, in a hypothetical, hypothetical world, you never know what's going to happen. But... but uh, Maybe they, they want to wait a little bit, and but he, he, he deserves. He's arguably the greatest fighter fighter of all time. You know what I mean? He, he deserves a place in the Hall of Fame. What do you make of this whole Jake Paul versus MMA circus that has sort of evolved over the last couple of years? You know the thing is that this whole thing started out as a joke for most of so-called expert. You know, and I'm no different. But then he beat uh, Nate Robinson. Nobody really pay attention. You know, they, they 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 pay attention, but they were like they didn't see him as a as a real boxer. Then he beat um, uh, Askren, Ben Askren. Then he step up his game, beat Woodley. Now he's fighting Anderson Silva. Like that's crazy. He step up his game every single time. And love him, hate him. But there's one thing about Jake Paul is that you have to respect him. You know what I mean? He has a lot of courage, and he has the audacity that every time he's stepping up and he's challenging someone better, better, better. And he's living the American dream, you know, like for a lot of people, it's very in inspiring. You know what I mean? Like he, he, he's, he's a guy that nobody g gave him the chance at first. It was like, it started out, start off as a joke, you know, and now he's, look at him now. Look at him now where he is. It's just incredible, an incredible journey. And it's not over. We will see what's going to happen tomorrow. But if he's su successful, what's going to be next? I think he's going to maybe take on, you know, boxers now, real boxer in boxing. Because MMA, it's a very different sport. It's uh, boxing is very specialized, you know. There's there's a lot of things that you do in boxing that you would never do in MMA and vice versa. So it's uh, you know what I mean. It, it's going to be interesting. Is he biting off more than he can chew though this time? I mean, it is Anderson that's, Silva, right? That's why we thought every single time, and that's why you have to respect that from from him. He, he's he, he's very courageous, very very courageous. Uh, win or lose, my my hat is off. To, to him, it, it, he's willing to take a risk, and I think that's why he has a, a big audience. Like, like he has he has an audience before, but in the fighting game, like you know, he's starting to get like the, the real respect from real fighters because of that. You know, he has a, the, he, he's he's willing to to risk it all to put it on the line. A lot of guys talks. He's a big talker too, but he he does he, he walk the walk. You know. George, is there anything that you see when you watch Jake Paul fight in these past couple fights that you think can be exploited by the skill set of Anderson Silva? Uh, yeah, is is I think it, Anderson Silva is faster, better mobility, is is more fluid, um, more experience, of course. But Jake Paul has something that Anderson does not have. He has what my trainer used to call the touch of death. He can hit you with one shot, especially his, his curved right hand that comes from an angle from outside of his opponent's field of vision. And uh, he's been very successful with it so far. And the way he threw it is very deceptive because he, 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 he leans towards one side so your opponent follows him and he threw it with 
while he's swinging his entire body and tra his weight transfer, and all the weight is transferred to, to on, on on his knuckle, and he has a lot of power with it. So he has a weapon that any given moment he can show and end the fight. That's that's a very dangerous thing. George, a couple of years ago, you were tied to a possible exhibition match with Oscar De La Hoya yes. in boxing. Yes. And I know that you said a few minutes ago that you don't miss this, and I remind you that you don't miss it. But yes. is there is there an opponent or a scenario that you think would be fun to come back and do? You you never say never. But my days of trying to prove that I'm the strongest man in the world is done. I have no longer the the desire of doing so. I might compete because I'm in an in a entertainment business in boxing or in grappling something that is safer than MMA not 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 MMA something that is safer that has less risk because I have a lot more to lose and and it's not my priority anymore and yeah why not you know what I mean if it's well done and everything but something like a boxing match with small like nah, I'm done with it I'm uh, I, I being here tonight makes me remember how much I don't miss it. <laughs> it's unbearable for me, like to the stress and everything. Like I, unbearable. Unbearable. I never like to fight. I, I fought because it, it it propelled me to where I wanted to be in life, to have the freedom to be able to do whatever I want with whoever I want, whenever I want. That's why I did it. You know what I mean? You're never a hundred percent free, but I'm I'm way more free. I'm more free than most of the guys. You know what I mean? In a, in a way. So George, George what's life been like since you stepped out of the limelight? Well, it's, I'm busier now than I than I was when I was competing. So it's good. I do things that I that I really enjoy. George, guys, if I can get one more just quickly, yes. you, you've long championed fighters' rights, and now we saw the bet with Jake Paul yesterday yeah. about the if he loses or if Anderson loses, he wants him to help make an MMA fighters association. And I wonder, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that's something viable, and would that be something you it, want to be part of? It will happen sooner or later. It happened in box. It, it happened in the, in baseball, basketball, hockey, and and every. Other football, every other sport. It will happen in MMA. It's just a question of time, and it needs to be done by, with the right people. Would that be something you would want to be a part of? If, if it's is there? if the the organization, you know, there's the, 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 the organization of. I always gonna do things that are for the fighters, that are right for the fighters. Um, you know, uh, that's my thing. You know, if the organization is is done, if it's done well, I am I'm, I'm, I'm willing to to do anything uh, to help the the fighters. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much for the time. You're number Thank one you so pound much. for pound in MMA right now. Wokanovsky right now. He has to give it to Wokanovsky because, but now he's fighting Makachev, so it might change. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you George.